I've been trying to give up coffee for a while, actually. Maybe drink it like every once or twice a week because, man, I was is so addicted to that thing. And I was drinking like every single day. So I'm switching to green tea. What's going on, you guys? My name is Andy, and in this video, we're going to be talking about five things I really hate about my Sony A1. Now, if you've been following this channel, you know that I recently switched to the Sony A1. When I say recent, it's probably more like three, four, four months. And after using it for the last four months, this camera isn't perfect, even for $6,500. Okay, now let's first start with that. The first reason is the price. Now the price is $6,500 and that's before tax. With tax, depending on where you are, you can pay up to $6,700. Wow, that is a lot of money for a camera. Especially a camera you know you just use for photography as a hobby. That's a lot of money. This price, you can buy almost three Sony a 7 Three. That doesn't include the memory card or the lens. That is literally just the camera body. Let me show you. This memory card right here costs a lot of money. We go to number two, the memory card. The memory card for 160 gigabyte is about $370, somewhere around that price, but it's above the $300 zone. You need this memory card because without this memory card, you can't shoot 30 frames per second like everybody talks about. And you can't shoot some of the video format without this memory card. And not just that, because of this memory card, you need to bring a CF Express A card reader along with you. This right here is the CF Express card A reader, right there. You need to bring this everywhere I go. I can't just put it into my laptop anymore. This is it. And it also reads a regular SD card as well. Yeah, I know you can use like the UHS to memory card but like i said it doesn't get all the features and if you really want to put this camera to its use uh, like the best it can do you got to have that card the cf express type a it's adding up to a lot of money the third thing is that it does not have a flip out screen and if you guys know me you guys know that i love flip out screens. I love the fact that I can see myself so I can compose where I'm at or like making sure my head isn't cut off or things inside the frame. I need to see myself to make sure all those things are perfect because there isn't anybody behind this camera recording me. It's all myself. So I have to watch myself and talk to you guys and making sure everything is good, which means I need to be able to see myself. That is very important. And without a flip-out screen, I would need to get an external monitor, a Ninja 5, and have it attached on here when I need to record myself. That is an extra accessory I need to bring that costs extra money to make this camera work the way I want it to. And all that can be solved with just the screen flipping out. And that's it. And I know that photographers don't want the flip-out screen if you're just a photographer, but man, the video quality on this camera is so amazing that it just be nice. It just be nice to have it. The fourth thing is the monitor. I wish it does have a better monitor. This monitor feels like it's the same as every other Sony monitors. The Sony a7S III, the Sony a7 IV, the Sony a7 III. It just feels the same thing. I don't feel like spending $6,500 and getting the exact same monitor. I wish it just has the better quality where when I'm looking at the picture, I want it to look so crisp. I'm like, wow, that is an amazing picture. But I won't get to see that until I actually put it into my laptop. And then I just look at the picture and I'm like, whoa, that's an amazing picture. But everything I look in here, it just looks like every other Sony camera. The viewfinder is amazing though. I'll give it that. But the monitor... I honestly like my Canon R5 monitor better than the Sony A1 monitor. Number five, there is no number five. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I have thought about things I can hate about this camera and I wish that, you know, maybe I can hate on this, but there is nothing else. To be honest, 
This camera is really, really good. For a $6,500 camera, it better be good. So I can't figure anything else out that it's bad about this camera. Maybe some of you guys might be saying that the things that I think are bad about this camera isn't so bad. It's just my personal experience. Well, yeah, it's my personal five, actually four, because the fifth is just saying this camera is so good. I really do like the Sony A1 and it's such a great camera. If you guys feel like you need to buy the Sony A1 because it really helps your workflow and you don't mind spending almost $7,000 on just the body, then by all means, you should because you won't regret it. It is such a great camera. You know what? Any camera you buy, just make sure that it fits your needs. If it doesn't, that's where you should know that maybe I shouldn't buy that camera. Don't believe in all the hype and all the super, oh man, this camera is the best camera ever made because at the end of the day, it's only good if it fits your needs. All right, you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment below about the Sony A1. Do you guys think it's completely a waste of money and there's better cameras out there? Or do you guys think, man, I wish I have it one day. My name is Andy. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave in the comment below. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, by the way. <laughs> catch you guys later. Peace out.